Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Crossover's Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, today Brooks and I and Maya and Ty, we're coming down here to the very southern Oklahoma, literally right next to the Red River. We are coming down here to help some friends uh, work their bison for the first time. They have their very first herd. Uh, I came down, oh, four or five months ago to kind of give them what I thought my guidance on uh, setting up their handling system and getting it ready. But um, today they're working their herd for the first time. And so Doc Parsons is bringing his system down, the same system that he used on our property uh, at the Ponderosa to work our bison. But we're gonna come down here and help them today and um, get it going. So uh, this will be fun, you know, seeing uh, hopefully what the, the advice I gave them helped. And um, anyways, we have a long day. Brooks is not working the bison and neither is Maya. So um, they'll be hanging out here, but um, we'll see how the day goes. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so right now we're doing some last minute touches, kind of tying all the pieces together, making sure everything is set before we actually run the bison through. The owners, Cindy and Tread, what they did, as you can see here, there's quite a different stuff set up, but here you have something that they built. It's their setup. And then the green is what is a high hog system. Those are high hog panels set up that they purchased. Blue system, you probably noticed, that is Doc's um, Berlinic handling system that we used at the Ponderosa. So we're just making sure everything is good to go and then we're gonna start running the bison through. First, before we actually run the bison through and actually start working them, you gotta go catch a couple more. And uh, anytime you do this, <laughs> you know it can always get a little bit western. Well, we got the majority of them caught in that last group. Caught about five out of the eight, which that's just part of it when you're working bison for the first time. That's just part of it in general with working bison. <laughs> if you go back and watch some of my videos, we had problems catching some of ours this year. Three of them headed out and went as far as way as they could. Now it's time to start working the bison.
Okay, we got all the bison worked, probably about 20 bison with a red dog or two in there. Now it's time to break Doc's hydraulic squeeze chute down, get it ready to pack up and leave. We're gonna head back to the barn. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful property in the southern part of Oklahoma along the Red River. Well, there you have it guys man that was fun it's uh it's always nice to uh go to these different places and um like i said before uh, when we got here um you know i was kind of just helping planning uh their handling system and and working with them um, just to give them some of my guidance and i don't i don't know everything and i know doc parsons um helped them out as well trying to design the layout and, and all that but you guys know if you followed me along and seen all of my shenanigans of uh, working the bison, you know that every time we work our bison, we learn something new. And um, it's the same way here. And it was the first time they worked their bison on the property. And uh, <laughs> it's funny because this is at the south end of their property, um, which is where we're going to eat lunch. But we worked them on the north side of the property. So uh, they uh, they got out of they uh they got as far as way as they could and uh they're up here and they look really pretty on this uh awesome place but cindy and tread i'm out here at cindy and tread's place and they are new members of the oklahoma bison association um they just started raising their first bison they got them last fall from doc parsons who also started from but um you can see his system just does an excellent job once we they had already caught some of the bison but once they got them all caught we had to go catch some more um three got out um i say got out they just got out of the holding area that they were working from uh, so three of them didn't get worked and that's okay as you know that's part of it and 
I've even was telling them I had the recent struggle of catching some of mine um, because they've wised up and that just happens over time um, as they get used to your system and they know how everything goes. So it's always fun to come and help. And I was trying to do, I was trying to film. I was trying to run a Doc's hydraulic squeeze chute, which is what Brandon was doing last time. And Doc's grandson. If you watched a working video at the Ponderosa, um, I basically was filling in um, at Brandon's little position there. But of course, he's at school now. So, um, but always fun to come and hang out uh, and and see everybody and and get their animals worked. And so. It's fun to do this and be a part of this experience that uh, it was their first time to work the bison. I know how it feels. You're nervous, very nervous, almost sick to your stomach, and um, you're just worried and hope everything goes well. But the most important thing is that these uh, beautiful animals got work. So um, just be happy for that. It's, it's, a, it's a family thing. It's a community thing. And uh, as part of the Oklahoma Bison Association and as part of the National Bison Association, we all work together on this because... We're taking care of that awesome animal out there that we love and care for. So um, thank you guys for being a part of this. And uh, if you haven't, guys, follow us along. Um, we're just doing our thing, taking care of the American bison. We'll see you guys soon.